Hi, I'm Jazz Guitars Red Act from New York City. Yeah, how is good? Okay, let's do with rhythm practice for improvisation. Today it's continue from last time we do the all the things right after bleach. Yeah, how about it? That is uh, today the section. How to play, how to thinking, how to see the finger about. Yeah, we do the little by little, so please enjoy to watch until this end. And after finish, next your turn. Then we'll be doing this series a lot, right? Listen practice for improvisation. Then this time is basically we did a lot of basic stuff for how to use that one to the songs, right? So if you haven't watched it, I recommend to watch since first time. So because I tell you a lot of details, so if you know about it, you're gonna easy to understand more. Okay, first time you should know about the chord progression after bridge. All the things through the key is basically the F flat major key, but then bridge is first is I think that this uh, G major key, so that's first time two five for G major, so A minor seven, D seven, the G. The G is just half step back from the the uh, key, the original key. And then next one is the F sharp minor seven, the half step back from the G. Then B7, then uh, E major key. So basically, uh, just to find to E major. Then go back to original regular uh, key, A flat major. Then I did the C7. Then after bridge, F minor 7, B flat minor. So 6 minor, 2 minor, then 5 sevens, E flat sevens. Then uh, once major seven, A flat major seven. Then next one is four major subdominant. Then after four minor seven, uh, subdominant minor. So D flat major seven, D flat minor. Then half step back, C minor. So uh, the three minor, third minor, three minor. Then flat third diminish. So B diminish. Then just regular two five. B flat minor seven, E flat major seven, then uh, flat major seven. Yeah, this is after uh, bridge chord progression pattern. Yeah, then today is after bridge, so let's review the chord progression pattern. Yeah, after that, one, two, three. We use this chord to the bleach. Then one, two, three, four, four, one. Yeah, like that. Then the basically it goes to the chord tone. Five and one minor chord. Then half step back nice. Then flat nice. This flat nice approach to the fourth approach note. 
then sevens, then half step back is the major third, which major third and five. Yeah, the sevens. Then then major third, then add the chord. Right? So you can do the rhythm and chord. Then I just play like that. This one is half step up major step from the tonic. So approach like that. Then G major seven one major seven. Yeah. Just third and the fifth. Then first and the third thirteen. Then fifth, then yeah, double note. Then major third and the first approach to flat third and set major seventh. Then approach to major uh, third to the first. Then after is very important. Yeah, this is very important. First time just play the chord. Then which chord I don't know right now. Add it on the bass. Then. So it can high it make the contrast for the chord sound. Then after, yeah, major sevens, first, then major third and fifth. Then this is just major seven chord tone, right? Then add it one more, the major seven. If it was B, I know, if it was G major sevens, but this note is already F A sharp minor seven section. So this is Major sevens from G, but from F sharp is first, so use like same note. Then after this one, okay. First, sevens, fifths, major third, ninth, first. Then elevens, major uh, minor third. This note is already B uh, seven section, so this one is the thirteen. Then half step back. But I, I want to go here. So flat 13 is approach to the fifth. So this is approach note. Then a eleventh. Then major third. Just go major third. Then this one is flat nine. So I just play this chord with a single note. Then after. So play the four and half. It's a little early, but it's just a kid reason and chord sound. Okay, then now the E major section. One, two, C, four. One, two, C, four. Right? Then this one is started 13. Then from 13, the fifth approach note to fifth. Then 11th, ninth, the sharp ninth. Then basically this is a major third if it was a E major but this one is already C7 section go back to regular original key so I just use the same note major third but this from 13 for the C7 so after it just augment right mm -hmm. C augment then then play the chord. Only the high tone is okay because it's already played the bass here, right? So make like that. Okay, let's keep continue the last part. F minor seven, right? This first time they play the chord. One, two, C, four. One, two, C, four. Yeah, and to hear the F minor. So just regular fifth strings position F minor seven. Then start the sevens, take line in the uh, uh, F Dorian. Sevens is uh, 13, the fifth. Then half step up. This one is minor third on B flat minor seven. Then play the, with the chord. So then I 
added the eleventh. Then after the three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, just regular six strings position, B flat minor seven, then E seventh, then half step back, E flat seven, approach to like that. Mm -hmm. Then now the E flat uh, seventh section, then half rest. One, two, three, four, or one. So basically, decline E flat mixed already. But uh, first, the seventh, thirteen, the fifth, uh, fourth, eleventh, then major third if coming here, you know, go to the ninth second. Just go to first. Yeah. Then just go down. And this one is A flat major fourth, right? So this time is A flat major section. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, like this, I did the chord. One, two, three. And next one, this one, right? But this one already prepared for D flat major seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then this one is already D flat minor section. Then this one is a very popular subnominal major pattern. Just go into this, right? Then this time you play with a chord, right? You have to prepare for it. Don't play the tip. Yeah, like that. Then just cover like that. Then next one. Same. Don't play the tip. Prepare for the chord. One, two, three, four. Then this chord progression is very popular. Then just do the octave on the C minor, third minor. Then after I play the chord. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. One, two, three, four, four. Then this one, the B diminish, uh, flat third diminish. Then first and minor third, I just connect like that. Diminish. Mm -hmm. One. Then B flat minor section. Yeah, same rhythm pattern, but different note. Fa, uh, first and minor third just connect like that. Then six, uh, thirteen, then eleven. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah. So basically, same motif. Then this one is a fourth right? but I already think this one the E flat seventh section. So okay, major third to fifth so connect same, right? Then flat ninth, sevens, and fifths. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So basically here, I just I already see the A flat major third. Then just target one two C four one two C four one. Then the first play chord. If keep doing G minor seven flat five and C seven, go to the top. Mm -hmm. So basically, first chorus is finished. My improvisation is not important. The important is just contrast improvisation and the chord and rhythm. So this balance. So first time, please use my uh, this pattern to make get a feeling. Then after take you to the switch your lyrics and the chords and whatever you can play. Okay, today this is it. Please enjoy to practice like this. Then enjoy jazz guitar life together. Okay. Thank you for watching until then. I hope we meet different video too. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.